Today we'll see how to use the new features in version 2. So, first of all, we will have a look to uh, the new feature about the templates. So, a small reminder for uh, people who didn't see the uh, patch uh, tutorial. Uh, Right-click in this area and then you can choose to import or browse template database. Use template database all the time. These are the new ones. So if you go into browse, browse lets you have a look of all the list of features and in these uh, devices you can choose uh, whatever you want. Uh, let's say for example uh, clay packy here and then any other and from there as usual you can drag and drop into a folder not on this area but in a folder already existing a user folder such that you can uh, build your own uh, folder for each show and you just copy now since it's just a user folder you can double click on the feature and edit whatever you need you can access to any uh, parameter because it is a user device so let's see another way to do it right click and then this time we will import so if we import you get again this list let's go into adb and select uh, warp and select and this time we get uh, a new folder but this time as you can see it says feature database which is different from user and database means that we are working on the database system uh, feature so we cannot edit it so you can just modify a couple of things gener generic things like uh, name and kind this kind of thing but you you will not be able to modify change a parameter uh, inside the, this device so take care of that so if you want if you want to use the uh, import feature you can do it but you will have to copy this database feature into a manufacturer or any user folder such that then you will be able to modify everything but the only way you can change the settings of the feature so now that we have got this uh, picture uh, let's talk about this alpha profile we have here it's an interesting uh, feature because it has some uh, uh, shutters, blades. Uh, so we open the list of parameters. And as you can see now, we have um, a new column here called sort. Sort is to order your parameters as you want so if we look at this alpha profile and uh, we will select one here such that we can see in this area how they are how they appeared in in the uh, on the encoders and as you can see here because we have only let's say three gobo functions and we have 
we have four encoders. The fourth one is a blade, which may be not convenient because that means that now we have one blade on this first page here and if we press a pattern on the console at the same time we go to the next page of pattern and of course we are uh, now split in on different pages because my first blade is the last one of the first page and all the others uh, follow on the next ones uh, and so on so it's a bit shifted it's not very convenient if we want to organize that in a different way now we can do it so let me show how we can do open again this device templates and first of all we will filter such that we have a list of uh, dedicated uh, parameters we need to change. So we can see here but by default everything is at zero in, in this column. So in zero it just use the let's say the system uh, order. So if we want to change that we need now to give a number to each of them corresponding of the position we want them to have on the encoders. So, let's say we, we want to start with uh, the blades, because it's something we use quite a lot on this uh, device. So, uh, first blade will stay zero as it is, second one will be one. So, on your alpha keyboard, you can just use your arrows to go down to the next one. You just press enter to enter in the edit mode, type a number and enter again to confirm. So, so in this case we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Seven. and we need to decide now how will be the last page so we can assume that the frame rotation would be following the blade control so put 8 here and then have a look to the next uh, functions where we can have the gobo in uh, 9 10 for this one and the last one will be 11 okay so now we can exit from here and just reselect our alpha profile and as you can see now as soon as I select it I will get directly the right uh, pattern. So let's go to the first page. First page will give me the blade up one and up two. DW1, DW2, RG1, RG2, LF1, LF2. And my last page will be, uh, okay, I get the frame rotation, as I said here, which is following my blades. And then the three last uh, parameters, which are related to the Gobo uh, controller. So as you can see now, we have a logical order when you can have exactly the parameters as we want on the encoders. Next topic now will be about the shutter control. So we have here um, some alpha profile 
with shutter blades and uh, we will control them okay so I move the wheel to get my uh, beam tips here and uh, so if I move the uh, encoders now I can uh, adjust easily Okay, so as you can see on this kind of uh, picture, the blade is not easy to control because the angle is always changing as soon as you want to engage the blades. So let's go back to zero position. So I press uh, zero on my console and then holding the ALT key, I'm gonna press the encoders I want to assign this value. So this one and this one. So I get back now my uh, zero uh, position for my blade. So let's say that it's difficult to control this kind of blades just moving with a rotation movement. So we have now a new facility here, Link Shutters, which will let you link together the blades controlling the motors, let's say the motors, controlling the same blade. So now if with my encoder I move, let's say up one for example, uh, on my console, as you can see it moves at the same time with the same value the other blade, the other, the other motor which makes that if you look on the stage as you can see I'm moving horizontally with no change on the angle that links together the two motors such that one encoder control the engagement of the blade as it was not controlled through an angle. And the same here for uh, this one. As you can see, it's quite easy. If I press pattern again to get the second page, now I will easily get some uh, square things in a much easier way than it was without linking shutters. So that's a brand new feature from the uh, version 2. Last topic uh, of this tutorial will be about the new color picker which is now able to control HSI. I'm gonna show you controller and device control. Okay, let's get it bigger. Okay, this is the new color picker when at the bottom you can see this part here where you can see the CMY, RGB and HSI. And uh, you just need to move around your mouse to adjust to approach of the value you need. And then uh, you can play with any of these three parameter controls. So you being the color base, so you can choose to go into a, a deep blue. Here you can choose how you want to saturate your color or desaturate from full to zero. And this one is the luminance, so the equivalent of intensity, which lets you control how bright you need to be. And of course, the brightness uh, lets you uh, eliminate a part of the saturation, of course.
And this is it. So now that's for the new version 2 features about device control. And uh, see you next time.